Hi, this is Tara, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so it is 9.36 at night. And Lord have mercy, you guys. Hold on. come home and help out with my granddaughter. Yeah. Yes. My grandson, he's 11. So, he can kind of sort of um, see out for himself. But my granddaughter, she's one. So, she needs a lot of attention and a lot of care. Now, I received in the mail today my plan and my makeup. Plan and your makeup by Yolando. It's the nude by Yolando, the church girl eyeshadow palette. Plan and my makeup by Yolando. Okay, and I found her on Facebook. <laughs> okay, and this is her cut crease brush. Let me see if I can get it. I'm not going to take it all the way out, but this is it. You know, um, let me see. This is what it looks like. This is how thin it is, you know, for cut creases. Okay. No one. So, this is the palette right here. I love the colors uh, scheme of it. Very pretty, right? So, it's in a sleeve. Oh, this is the sleeve that it comes in. And so, you open it up. And it has this protector on it. I normally try to keep my protector on all of my stuff okay so and this is the palette you guys these colors are so beautiful they are nice and they are nice and um, just like it says, the church girl palette, you know, um, a, a palette that you would wear to work every day, business, professional, that you would wear to work every day, which also brings me to the KK West, and I wish I didn't have makeup on today because I can kind of swatch it but I'm really tired my granddaughter just went to sleep you see it KK West my granddaughter just went to sleep and see I keep these on and I've already reviewed the KK West. I've already used it and reviewed it. Now, how did I lose the Oh, here it is. I thought I had lost the protector for that one. So, you know, um, tomorrow is Friday and today is the first day that I've worn a full face. I'm not going to say a full beat, because a full beat, that may sound like, girl, you know, you you like a makeup artist with a full beat. But I'm going to say a full face of makeup. I have on foundation. Um, I have on eyeshadow. I have on eyebrows. I had on lipstick, but it came off. 
So, I do have on lip balm. So, let me show you the KK West palette. Never mind the stuff back there. I'm preparing to go home. So, um, the stuff back there is just stuff that I'm separating and going through. Because I've accumulated quite a bit of stuff since I've moved here with my daughter to help her with the baby. Um, the next thing I'm going to buy, I'm going on a no buy. I don't think I'm going to buy anything on Black Friday. Um, the only thing that I'll probably buy on Black Friday will probably be stuff like soap. T not soap, because I think I have enough body wash. Tissue washing powder. I'm going to get some sanitizer, hand sanitizer, bleach, you know, stuff like that. Something. I've been hearing a lot of men and women of God, you know, talking prophetically. And they're saying something's going to happen. I've been hearing the conscious community talking about stock up, um, get your first aid kits, get all, you know, just stock up and be prepared, be ready. Um, when they switch over to, what is it, 5G or 5, 6 or 4, whatever, if they are having our, whatever they switch over to, it's going to be a power outage. And it's going to be a power outage for quite some time. There's going to be some things going on with the bank. Have your cash, your money at home. Um, so, you know. I just, you know, I don't know. But, you know, those are some things that... Oh, I would be preparing for the reason why I'm going on a no buy. Now I do want to buy the ColourPop, um, the new ColourPop line that's coming out. Um, what is her name? I forgot her name. Wow! Now that I'm thinking about it, I can't even remember her name. She's she has collabed with ColourPop, so. I do want that. I want I want that um, palette. I'm just going to get the palette. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get the the loose, um, the singles. I don't think I'm going to get the singles. Excuse me, because the singles are more glitter, I believe. And something Raw Christy, that Raw Christy or something Raw Christy. Um, I, I like shimmers, holographic. I don't like glitters. Glitters get all over the place and I don't like it. So I like stuff like this. That's in the KK West. You don't see any glitters at all. You see shimmers. You see that? And yes, I have used this palette before. Okay. So you see all these nice neutral colors. Okay. So then we're going to go over here to our playing and our makeup by Yolando. And that's more like a like a raisin this is a more of a red that's a brown these are more see those oranges the burnt oranges those um terracottas sienna brown you see those and then you don't see any glitters you see shimmers so um This palette is very beautiful. I'm sorry that my energy is so low, but I want to show you all this palette because I really want to do a look 
like a comparison look. But now that I'm looking at the palette, it's like, let me see. Okay, so you see, these these two colors. Right here, these two that are in view are similar to um, Trust and Faithful. You see Trust and you see Faithful. Okay, and then um, you see this shimmer right here this copper gold looking copper this one right here okay this is very similar to worship that's here i swatched i touched it i ain't gonna say i swatched it and it's also similar to miracle but Miracle is a little bit more on the plum brown side. Okay. And so, um, let's see. What other colors? This color right here, you see this satin looking color there? It is very complementary to Faith right here. The only difference that I see is Faith has more of a, more of a stone type color to it and the one that Kim Kardashian West has more of a it's a little bit more on the gold side so this is the KK West Okay. And then this is the Yolando. I think the Yolando has a little bit more of a pink to it, like a soft pink. And the Kim K wrist has more of a a soft rose gold. So I could do a um like a comparison look with these palettes. I really could. I've never done that before on my channel. So, I re oh, excuse me, I really could. So, I really like this brush. I really like it. Okay. And, they both are smooth. They're not very chalky. Just a little bit. But, they're very smooth. They're very smooth, both of them.
and the, the pigment and the shine and the shimmer on both of these are gorgeous. So, those are great. But I've already used the KK West, the KK West, the KKW Beauty Palette once before. So, I'm going to go ahead, not now, <laughs> not tonight. I'm going to try this, um, this Planning My Makeup by Yolanda. A nice natural look. And I will most likely So, uh, I'm trying to stick the palette back in the sleeve. Uh-oh, I'm hitting myself in the face. So... If you're interested in the look that I have on now, okay... If you're interested in that look, oh, I got it. I got it in there. <laughs> and this protects your eyeshadow, eyeshadows. This protects your makeup because Keeps them from breaking, keeps them from getting messed up, keeps them from the palette from falling and flopping open and uh, breaking and things like that. I haven't had a palette to um, break on me um, yet. I've had one to come to me in delivery and it may have had a little chip or something on it, but... Um, it wasn't a big deal. I didn't make a big deal, a big fuss out of it. However, um, the rest of it did not do that. So, that just let me know that it was either damage in packaging or it was damage on the way to me. But, it's been fine ever since. I can't remember which one it is. I think it is the Eloise. I think it is the... This, but it's not this one, I don't think. Um, eh, probably not this one, but this is the palette. That I use today. Okay. And I used. Um, Sovereign. This turquoise. I used. Ma Ma Majesty. A mystical. What is it? Majesty. This purple. I use Majesty. I use Kingdom. 
for the transition color, I use Rainy. This yellow gold is Rainy. And on the outer corner is my Siete London. It's my Siete London um, monochrome shadow. Okay, so, oh, um, what was I going to say? I know my energy is very low, so I thank you for watching and for watching to the end. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up my video, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about my channel. I love you for watching to the end. And, um, let me see. I was getting ready to say something, but I forgot. Uh, oh, yes. So, Julia's Place has a sale. I think it's like 50% off. It says 45% off. But when you log onto the website, it says 50% off. Shop now. Okay? And when you click on it, it has all the different little palettes that are available. Now, I have in my cart... A set of three palettes for $36 and I'm gonna order a which I shouldn't but I'm gonna go ahead and order a foundation which I shouldn't order a foundation from Julia because if I order the wrong shade of foundation it, there's nothing I can do with it I can't return it if I order the wrong shade of foundation from Julia so I might just order it from um, Ulta and um see if Ulta will take it back. <laughs> I have Uma Beauty by Ulta uh, that I bought from Ulta that was not my shade. It was a shade, it was two shades darker. Um it was in the shade it was in the kingdom, this black pearl, but I should have been in I just said kingdom. The session black pearl but i should have been in the session brown sugar so and the first one in the brown sugar section is the one that i should have purchased but i had no idea um it was on sale and i purchased it so i also purchased already at sephora i have the kat von d foundation for 18 bucks i have that i purchased i'm waiting it to come and what else did I purchase from Sephora? I purchased something else. I want to say some toner. Because I'm about to run out of toner. I'm about to run out of toner, so... So, oh, I just dozed off a little bit. And so, I, if it's still available tomorrow, I will order the Julius Place, um, the three palettes, and the, what else did I put in my bucket? Well, I had put the foundation in my bucket, but I think I'm going to take it out. Um, That's about it. That That's on the 50% off. But then I might venture over to her makeup brushes. And purchase some of those because every time I get ready to purchase brushes on the sale, the ones that I want sold out. But then I don't need any more. 
I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't need any more brushes. So the total of the palette without tax and shipping is $36. And then I'm going to use the code OHEMA. O-H-E-M-A-A. -A. She is on YouTube and she does makeup. And she's a very, very dark skinned, beautiful young lady. So go check her page out. She do cut crease and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to use her code and get an extra something off. So I'll get like three palettes for like maybe almost $30. That's like $10 a piece. So I'll do that. And um, then what else I plan on purchasing? I plan on purchasing, um, um, like I said, I already have the stuff on Sephora. I may go on Ulta and order, because I was supposed to order another Kat Von D. And my shade is 078. I think I was going to order 076 for a summer shade. For a summer shade. So, um... Uh, so I might do that and just order the um, Juvia's Place. But I have the Togo. I have, I, no, I think I have Logos. I don't think I have Togo. I have Acura, which is too light. I have Bukina, which is too light because it's more of a summer shade for me. I have Gabon, which is just about right. Gaben is just about right. I can work with that. Um, I also have a shade stick by Julius Place. It is called Nomad or something like that. Um, what is the name of it? Anyway, when I put that shade with that foundation stick on and took pictures and people was like, oh, yeah, that's you, that's you, that's you. I know it when I see it because I also had um, cam Cameroon. And Cameroon was too light. Cameroon was too light. And I also had, what else did I have? And the shade stick. But for me, the shade stick, I need, and the shade stick, I need to have, make sure I have a pressed powder to go on with it because shade sticks are just like creams you know some some creams the powders are very oily or it causes you to get very oily now this looks like to me it doesn't look like i have on any foundation right now but i do i have my minted um m20 but it's a little rubbed off due to the mask that i wear so it's a little rubbed off So, yeah, um, other than that, oh, I want to get a home generator. I'm going to get a solar power one as well. And, um, what else? It's portable. I just seen somebody post it on social media. I want to say Duracell, like the battery, but I'm not sure. Get one in case the lights and stuff go out. We need candles. We need, because I'm telling you, um, God may not speak to you directly, but he'll send the prophet. He'll send somebody. And I'm getting too many warnings on social media um, that, you know, something coming. We're going to have a blackout not going to have water, we're not going to have food. We keep having these storms back to back to back to back where how can you grow anything when you just keep having storms and your crops and things like that are um, destroyed by the storms. So um, I didn't buy any seeds. That's my fault. I'm not in my home. That's my fault. I should have had it renovated. Um, so
so yeah it's just a lot so i guess it's turned into a a a, a vlog <laughs> really it turned into a vlog so thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe thumbs up my video tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend about my channel i love you for watching to the end bye